Hey guys, I'm bringing you something a little bit different today. I want to bring something a little bit sporty, a little bit compact, and something that will keep you interested. So I hope you like this car as much as I do. I present to you the 2024 Mazda 3 Skyactiv G. It's an absolutely gorgeous Mazda vehicle. If you look at the back right here, we got dual exhaust. And this is stick shift style. Got a good sharp manual here. Give you a little bit of some get up and go action here. So let's see what this thing's made out of. As always, I like to open up the hood of the vehicle and see what's powering this gorgeous Mazda. But first, I want to tell you the color. This is called Polymetal Gray Metallic. And I'm actually digging the color on this. So let's get under the hood here. There's the discreet black hood latch. Just give that a pull. And I wonder if it's going to have telescopic bipods. I doubt it. Yep. So it's a little bit cheap feeling because the telescopic bipods give it a more premium feel. So you got to hold this and lift the stick up manually with your hand. And that's not a deal breaker if you ask me. I just prefer since it's a 2024 to have the telescopic bipods. Jump on this isn't that difficult because the battery is front and center. And if you ever fall asleep listening to music like I did the other day, finding a jump is nice and easy. So like you saw on the back of the vehicle, this is the Sky Active G. It's a 2.5 liter DOHC four cylinder engine. And it's not packing a lot of heat. So I'm a little disappointed that it's such a small engine, you might get some good get up and go to it because it's a stick shift. And I'm not seeing a turbo attached to it either. Cylinder valves, and it's not even that meaty of an intake. It's a very small, compact engine if you ask me. But it'll do the trick. All right, let's put the hood down and continue with the tour of the vehicle here. As this bad boy growls and zooms past you, you're going to be getting 191 horsepower with it, which isn't a lot at all, and you get 186 pounds-feet of torque on it. And you're not going to be getting any fog lights, which is a letdown for me. You got some functional venting that opens and closes depending on your acceleration. You got some front venting right here that opens and closes as well. I like the wheels. The wheels are pretty cool here. They're 18 inch alloy wheels. You got a black front grille here. And I think the wheels look pretty sharp. We got Toyo tires all season. Got disc brakes going around all four tires. So here's a look at the key fob here. And it's nothing to brag home to mom about. It's just a standard looking key fob. Not many features on it. You just got your lock and unlock and a panic button. You pop it open just like this. It comes equipped with a privacy shield. And if you'd like more storage space in the back, you could just pop down the seats. There's your Bose sound system. Either a subwoofer or an amplifier in the back. And it's got an awesome spare tire. This is the back profile of the Mazda 3. Has a nice semi-spoiler on the and back. It's got a nice rear-facing windshield wiper. And that definitely gets style points. Inside, take a look at the back seat here. Don't mind the umbrella. As you get in, you got ample sitting space. It looks like three people would be pretty tight in here. There's your cup holder that sits down. Nice and firm, doesn't feel cheap. And it's got these burgundy color leather seats. And if you got peekers that want to peek to see what type of Christmas gifts you got in the back, there's the privacy shield. These back seats looks like they could get damaged. There's no plastic to protect it, so it could get kicked and beat up. And then there's your cargo net. And a nice spot there on the side where you could put your sodas. And it definitely does look stylish. So this is the cabin right here. Got automatic downs on all four windows and a child lock. And this adjusts your side mirrors. Ready to go 
What a gorgeous Bose sound system. And as you get in the cabin here, the seats hug you very tightly. They're not ventilated, but you do have an option to have them heated on this particular trim. That's the passenger seat right there. And this is how it looks in the back seat. It's not a panoramic sunroof, just your regular basic sunroof there. Your eyeglass holder. And then you got your white LEDs that gives it more of a premium feel in the cockpit here. These aren't automatically dimming either. You, if you get a bright light that comes behind you, you gotta manually flip it down old school style. This is the steering wheel. And I always say that a steering wheel makes the entire vehicle. I think it's stylish. It's got that chrome shiny finish there. And then there's your controls for cruise control. And things like that. Another thing, another option that it has is a heads up display. I'm very happy to see that. So let's power it on and turn on the lights in the front. So this is how it looks on the infotainment screen and you could switch you could switch the way that it looks sporty I'm just turned off at how small the engine is I'm not gonna lie I wish it had just a little bit more power to it but it's probably very good for the price point this is your climate control so to turn it off you press that and this is where you turn the fan higher or lower. There's your glove box. This is how it looks when the Mazda is staring right at you. And it's saying, get out of my way. That's the type of vibe that I'm getting on it. And the back. Look at those LED headlights. Gorgeous looking. You have your memory seats that I always like to show people that if you have a tall driver... In a small one, you could adjust the seats and the mirrors how you want them, save it, and whoever jumps in, just press the button and it goes back to the way that it was on your presets. There's the emergency parking brake that's engaged. And this is your infotainment screen adjuster. You have navigation option. Press it down. And it's going to pull up your map. Spin the circle, close it, back out. Comes equipped, ready to go with Sirius XM. There's your armrest, and it can move forward or backwards depending on how you like it. You got two USB ports, USB type C. Ready to lock and load with some wireless charging, so I'm real happy to see that on this 2024 here. There's your clutch pedal, your brake, and your gas. And then you can move the steering wheel forward or backwards, depending on how you would like it. Yeah, it moves. I'm very surprised at how fast it moves. <laughs> very surprised. Let you see how it looks when you're changing the gears here. Let's put the clutch in, pop it into first. And I'm a neutral driver, I'm not a downshifter. So I prefer to neutral drive and I put it into neutral and just coast. And that's actually gonna save on gas. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna make fun of me, but I like neutral driving. I come to a, a stop just using the brakes. So you're gonna put more stress on the brakes. I agree with that, but you are gonna be saving your transmission when you neutral drive because if you downshift to come to a stop, you're going to put more wear and tear on the transmission. So I ask myself, which costs more? <laughs> Went down the wrong way almost. Which costs more? The brake pads or the transmission? I say the transmission. So that's why I neutral drive. Well, thanks so much for checking out the video with me today. If you haven't already, 
please like, comment, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Here's our heads up display. I just spent a good five minutes trying to figure out how to put this thing in reverse. And I was looking at the dials here and you see it first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So naturally I would push the clutch down, pop it in and throw it in reverse, but it's not working. It keeps pulling me straight. I believe you gotta push this down. Now we're in reverse and then a rear facing camera does come on, but I have it covered with the dealer plate. And it's very small, extremely small reverse camera. I you to throw it in reverse if you're traveling and you take off at a high rate of speed from a stop, you can't just throw it into reverse. I like it, it's a safety feature. I haven't driven a stick shift since 2016. So that's the last time I drove a stick shift. I like it. I like stick shifts. It makes it feel more sporty and I'm, I'm a huge fan of it. Pull it out, you gotta press the brake pedal down. Now we're out, okay, here we go. Another thing that I like is we got a little bit of tin action on these windows on the side here. Look at that burgundy stitching on top of that red accent. One more thing, this is front wheel drive. I guess that comes standard with a manual transmission, but it is good for the winter time because I think that you get better traction with your vehicle if it's front wheel drive in the snow.